Operation Sailor Hat was a series of three tests of explosives effects, conducted by the United States Navy on the island of Kahoolaw, Hawaii in 1965. They were non-nuclear tests employing large quantities of conventional explosives to simulate the effects of a nuclear weapon blast, such as the effects upon naval vessels. In addition, seismological data, underwater acoustics, radio communications, cratering, air blast effects, cloud growth, fireball generation, and electromagnetic data were gathered. The light cruiser USS Atlanta, the guided missile destroyer leaders USS England and USS Dale, the guided missile destroyers USS Cochrane, USS Benjamin Stodgett, and USS Towers, and the Canadian Navy's escort destroyer HMCS Fraser all participated in the trial. Each sailor hat test consisted of a dome-stacked 500-ton charge of TNT high explosive detonated on the shore of Kahoolaw close to the ships under test. Each test saw the USS Atlanta move closer to the explosion. The first test, called Bravo, occurred on February 6, 1965, with the second test, called Charlie, on April 16 and the last, codenamed Delta, on June 19. Effects Cameras recorded the blast effects inside the ships and have shown that the force of the blast was enough to buckle steel walls and tear off heavy radar equipment and send it flying. Although severely damaged, the ships stayed afloat. In addition, two observation blimps were destroyed high above ground by the shock wave. USS England, which was farthest from the blast center, experienced the least damage, the most serious of which was only a dent where a boulder had hit the ship. The crater left by the blast is called the Sailor's Hat Crater and holds an anculin pool containing halocarid and aruba shrimp, which have adapted to the conditions in the crater. References External links Photos of the Sailor Hat Test in 1965. U.S. Navy. Archived from the original on July 22, 2012. YouTube video of Operation Sailor Hat.